So it's time to get started adding tickets to our brand new Pivotal Tracker project. Go up here and click Add Story to get started. The ice box is going to appear and it's going to ask you for a title. So since this is a brand new project, let's say the first thing we need to do is we need to add a login system. The description, I want users to be Okay, I want users to be able to log in with an email address and a password. Got my title, got my description, and I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And there's my ticket. Looking in here, you see there's a couple more things that show up that you didn't see before. For example, we've got tasks. Now, don't go ahead and fill in anything for the tasks. That's for the engineers to use to break the ticket down into the different steps as part of their estimation process. Speaking of estimation, also, don't estimate anything. Let the engineers do that. They're the closest to the code. They know what needs to be done. If you have any other discussions that you want to add, uh, you can edit the description, or you can go down here and leave a comment. So I want users to be able to log in with an email address and a password. I also want them to verify accounts via email. There you go. So you can click this little uh, triangle here to collapse it back up. And you're set. Now this is what a ticket looks like. These bars over here mean it hasn't been estimated by the engineers yet, which is fine. But this is something that we actually need done in the immediate future, so go ahead and drag it over to current. Also, you can close up the backlog now if you, if you want. Having view and include current and backlog will also help keep the uh, UI a little bit easier to work with. So let's go ahead and add another story. Um, check lo access logs for error for 404 pages. So this is a ticket that I'm adding for something that I want done later in the project. Uh, obviously, we don't have even a login system yet, so we're not going to have 404s either. But, you know, as the weeks and months go by on the project, it's possible someone might get pointed to a bad URL. So this is something I want to keep in mind for later, but there's nothing to do about it now. I'm going to go ahead and click Save, and I'm going to leave in the icebox. The icebox, you can sort of think of it as the uh, do later or the, you know, sort of brain dump uh, area where you just want to make sure something doesn't forget, get forgotten, but it doesn't have to be done now. So those are the two types of tickets that you'll be primarily adding, uh, go ahead and uh, get started.